<laughs> Let's play. Whoa. And there we go. Wait. Yeah. Yes, I'm good. Okay. We're back. Who we're scared. Well, I'm scared. Yes. <laughs> we're both scared. Because there's so much. I'm like, how are they just going to expose all this? We. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Although... Did we we never heard of Yamamba Pass at all, right? No, I don't think they mentioned this. So yeah, there's, there's still so many questions. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ah, oh, this is Yamamba Pass, where the person who they call Suzuki got out of the construction worker's car. It's fairly remote, and there's not much traffic. It take a while to walk in, uh, walk to town from here. Okay. And he said that he did this every day. Every day. All right, we're gonna have to look. Look at surroundings. Real quick. Sign. It'll take a while. It'll, it would take quite a while to walk to town. Bears. What? Beware bears. What am I supposed to do if I run into one? You know, I had the very same question when I when I went to Tucson. You know, years ago, we went hiking up a mountain. I asked two questions. I was like, one, are there dangerous animals? Two, is there like like an actual paved like road, you know, signage and like, you know, railings and all that? My friend's like, yeah, of course. Both are false. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. Uh, you know, I'm clumsy as hell. So, like, and I, I my legs were shaking the entire time because it's like, if I took a wrong step, uh, I, I would have been... Like, not here. Dead. Oh, smooth. Yeah, actually, it was when I saw you. Kept telling your ass to come out with us. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that, that was the same time. Yep. Uh, is there anything else to look at? The mountain. A mountain covered with a lot of trees. Oh, wait. Did you do animal tracks, or what did you do? Animal tracks? I didn't even know there was there. Yeah. Oh. Huh. What's this here? It looks like the grass has been trampled. Animal tracks? Or a person? Probably a person if he was walking. Mm, it's a bit overgrown, but... Ah! I have to check it out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Heaven help me. Heaven help me. I'm a little nervous. It's already starting to get dark, but... Yeah, go back. I'm going to push on and go as far as I can. This is how people die in horror movies. The stupid ass Jeepers Creepers. I'm gonna go back and check in a hole. <laughs> stupid ass movie. Whew. The going has gotten rough. This is basically mountain climbing at this point. Hmm. Look at the surroundings. It's a dense forest and it's getting dark. I can't see the road anymore. The tracks have been following and continuing deeper into the woods. It looks like there's a steep climb ahead. I can look at the tracks. tracks? It looks yeah, like there. It looks like there's some some tracks in the mud. I should pay close attention. They must have been made by someone passing through. I'm glad they're here. I can use them to navigate. Dick's about to get jumped. No, to it. No. Oh God. Hey, D uh, <laughs> Dylan's like, all right, gang, let's split up. <laughs> hey, Guano. It doesn't look like a hiking trail. I don't see any signs or landmarks at all. Maybe the trail's blazed by someone who lives out here, and and now Minoru Suzuki is using it. Oh God, here we go. Let's follow the tracks a little longer. That was a pretty intense hill. Whew. Okay, where should I go next? So our surroundings. The bushes are getting even thicker. I'm only gonna find the tracks if I examine the area closely. All right, gotta sneeze. Bless you. Yeah, that's. Uh, hold on. Uh, that runs and come out. There's a trampled thicket. I just yeah. Some of the greenery is a bit trampled. Sure seems like someone oh has been walking here. Anything else? Just trees, regular thicket. I wonder if I can find some rare beetles out here. 
Dude, now's not the time for looking for bugs. How many years did it take for the forest to grow like this? Oh, we can travel. Can we? Oh, shit, yeah, we can. Oh, my God. I should keep going. Fork in the trail? Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Okay, the path splits in two. Alright, do we see anything that stands out? We have plant. Wait, ooh. There's road on the right, road on the left. Doesn't really tell me anything like trampled or tracks. <laughs> mm. Look like road on the right. It's, a way it's the way down. There's some tracks, but they're sparse. And then road on the left. It's the way up. I see a good amount of tracks. So, we can actually travel right or left. Oh, God. I'm uh, thinking left, if he says that's a good amount of tracks. Yeah, because it, it, it's wherever there's most, there's more traffic. Right. Let's go so left. Probably left. No, don't go right. Let's go to the left. Actually, I would laugh if you went left, I went right, and we see what happens. <laughs> uh, dead. One of us is dead. Right. A stream. There's something in the trees. <gasps> the trail cuts off the stream. Could someone have passed by here? You see the tied ribbon? I do. <gasps> What's that? Oh, it looks like a marker. So if I go in the direction of this landmark, I might find a road. Why put that there, though? Do people pass through here on a regular basis? Seems like it. Let's follow. I can use the rocks or cross without getting wet. Just need to be careful. Sploosh. Another fork in the road. Another fork in the road. Crap, don't ask, listen. I, w <laughs> I want someone random I want someone random I can ask, hey, do you think it's right or left? Because anyone's guess is as good as mine. Right. What the hell? Look at the sign on the post. Yeah, I can't read that. Uh there's a handwritten sign blocking the path. It reads no entry. It's written in uh, uh Hiragana. I wonder if that's to make it easier for kids to read? Another sign over here, though. Hmm. There's a broken sign in the bushes. Like maybe someone hit it? No passing beyond this point. Looks like a sign put up by an official or of some sort. Yeah, the other one looks handwritten. So, what are you thinking? I'm, th oh God, I'm, so scared. I'm thinking the left? Yeah, because if it's handmade. I feel like that's somebody trying to keep somebody out. I don't like this. Uh, so left? Yeah. The sign says to keep out, but I'm gonna ignore that and go left anyway. <laughs> <gasps> There's a thing up there. A house. <sighs> Damn it! Why? Everybody's saying bad ending. No. Stop it. <laughs> So, what now? What do you do? What do you do? I'm just looking at the surroundings. I think I'm on the right track. Let's find some clues. So we click on where. There's a rose by a statue. Is that a. Oh. Jizo. A, a Jizo. It's, it's the Jinjos Sorry. from Banjo Kazooie. Jinjo. A Jizo statue. It looks like it's barely been taken care of, but there are random flowers in the offering. So someone is here. The flowers are fresh. Someone must have been here recently. And it looks like there are some tracks behind the statue. Well, we need to go that way. And then the shed. Hold on. A shed. It looks pretty old, but it might be worth investigating. So wait, is that two? Oh crap! It is two different things. Wait, what is? I clicked on the statue and the shed, and now I can go to either one. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I really would like to look at the... I mean, they said that there's tracks behind the statue. That looks like where we need to go. But I'm yeah. curious about that shed. Maybe we can come back to it? I'm gonna save. 
Okay, hold on, wait, wait, let me do this thing. I don't know, I kind of want to check it out since we're here. The shed? Yeah, but I don't know. No. Well, what if it's connected to where we're going? To... Maybe, because I'm like, that can't just be a random loan thing there. So you think we should go behind the statue then? Yeah, that's just what my gut tells me. Let's go with it. <laughs> please, please game. What the hell? What is this? It's like a whole village. What? I'm finally out of the woods. What the hell is this place? Okay. Is this an abandoned village? There's nobody around. It's like time stopped. There's some old dilapidated houses. The workers dropped off someone who they were calling Suzuki a ways back. I wonder if he lived here. I mean... Mm. I guess it makes sense. Should this is where we look? get jumped? No. Sheesh. Do we... Look? We is just this... have abandoned house, abandoned house, abandoned house. Which one do you want to look at first? I guess the one on the left. There's no sign of anyone living here. The ones that are the middle? Mm -hmm. If I so much as touched it, it'd fall apart. The one, like, in the, the far back to the right. Mm -hmm. Feels spooky, maybe haunted. Like something might jump out at me. <laughs> I'm actually getting a little worried. Me too. The exterior wall has been completely collapsed. Is there anything else? Not that I saw. I'm going to think. Can Minoru Suzuki be here? And I guess more importantly, if someone were here, would it really be Minoru? Two separate people like ID Makoto sketches Suzuki. What do we do? So, I went to call and engage. And it gives me three <gasps> options. What the f Oh. Should we do Minoru? I don't know. Why does it say people know. nearby? There's no... What does that mean, people nearby? Is there people nearby? I'm scared. Should we try Minoru? Okay. I don't think anyone will come, will call, come out. Oh, okay. Makoto? I don't think anyone will come out. There's no one around. Okay. Ask, listen. No one is nearby. Look, examine. Should we do surroundings? No, again? I, I, I did think again. Oh. Okay, fine. I should look inside these buildings even though they're abandoned. Oh, oh God. shoot. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Freaking. No. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Sorry, that was me asking the game. Yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, Detective Kuze! I mean, uh, Detective Kuze! <laughs> Why are you... Answer my question. I... I think Minoru Suzuki might be lurking around here. So I'm looking for him. Is that why you're here too? You need to tell us something, because if we're about to get jumped, we gotta... Okay. I, I'm gonna use you as a, as a shield. <laughs> you have your gun, right? Please tell me you have your gun. Please. So, if you're here, that means Minoru Suzuki must really be lurking somewhere around here, huh? I can't tell you anything about the police investigation. You have no right to expect me to. Woman, w look where we're at. You can, <laughs> come on. <sighs> She's getting on my nerves. You're a civilian. I have no obligation to tell you anything. Should we think? Nope. I think we might need to, sh let's look at her. If that doesn't work, then we're going to show her stuff. Detective Kuze is usually calm and collected. 
Not now, though. Why is she so tense? Does she really think Minoru Suzuki, very possibly the smiling man, is in the village right now? He's gonna show her the sketch? Hmm. I did nothing. I'm gonna show her Makoto's. Oh, nothing. Oh, wait. That's... Two people have looked at the sketch of Makoto and told me it's a person they know as Suzuki. What? Now will you talk to us? You know how it is. I can't answer any questions about the case, so... Your work is done. Leave the rest to the police. Oh! Uh what? But... Do you... Detective Kuze's right. It's a job for the police now. Hmm? It's just... There doesn't seem to be any police here. Other than Detective Kuze herself. Oh, no. Her brother, her brother is here. <sighs> I think she knows that her brother was here. But... Okay... Um, Detective Kuze, did you come here by yourself? Uh, you aren't thinking of going in alone, are you? Don't worry, I called Kami for backup. I'll be fine. I won't do anything reckless. That's why I need you to go now. But... Go! Girl, if you don't... No! Walk, You'll do what I say, or you'll be under arrest. Go back the way you came. Detective Kuze. Like I told you before. Don't get in my way, understand? Now go! You tell me to go one more time, I'm gonna dropkick you. <laughs> <laughs> or, here's another stupid theory. What happens if she actually does know that it is Makoto that's been... that did kill Aisuke, that, or... I can't really say anything about 18 years ago, but maybe she knows it's him in some capacity and she's she wants to bring him in herself, or... Possibly. I don't know. Okay. I mean, that could be it. She doesn't want to involve the police, but, like, she's doing whatever she can. Golly. Okay, do we think? Yeah. I get a little upset anytime I see this. It feels like I did something really bad. I know. I'm not part of the police force. I shouldn't be trying to work alongside Detective Kuze like this. I'll only get in her way if, she, if I stay here. What do I think I was even doing? I'm worried about her. But I can't stop her from doing what she wants to do. I suppose my investigation ends here. No. Bad end! Bad end! <laughs> what do we do? Do I show her my skills? Is there, is there a way to do that? No. Why does this remind me of a bad... Oh. This does remind me of a bad ending really bad. You know, what if we have to... Oh, what did we do last time? Save, Save and quit? Save and quit? Yeah. Here, I'll try it. Oh my god, you're right. <gasps> is that the Kuze? You're right. My investigation ends here. <gasps> it's just... Please be careful. Yeah. Thanks. I'll get going, then. <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm a civilian. I guess I did everything I could. No, go back. Go back, you idiot. Well, maybe I can linger until backup arrives. Or I could call Kamihara. Even though she said she already did. No, we didn't do it. Not bad ending for the win. Wait, what was that? I didn't hear anything. Did that a Kuze? I knew it. She went to find Minoru Suzuki alone. Where is she? Did she go into one of those abandoned houses? But which one? I, I have no idea. I'll go door to door and look around. 
another gunshot! That's a lot closer than before. What is over there? Was it over here? It sounds like it came from this way. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. She killed him. Huh? Oh, you know what? What if... Oh my god. The smiley man came after Junko. Uh, and has been, like, stalking her the entire time. And, like, he confronted her. That's what that... That... that oh god, what is it? Thing was. The tie, maybe? And the letter was... I don't know. Never mind, sorry. Let's continue. Uh, 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 do I ask? Do I look? It looks like she took justice in her own hands. I mean, maybe, but like, it's, this isn't the way to go about it. This leaves way know. more questions. I need to ask. And this is why it's rated M. This is like really bloody. Yeah. D Detective Kuze, are, are you okay? What the hell is... Who is he? This is... Minoru Suzuki. What? The same man responsible for the murders 18 years ago. And the man who killed Aisuke Sasuke. Oh! <gasps> Suzuki approached me. I told him to stop. He did not. I fired a shot. My hands were... I missed. Suzuki took my pistol from me and threw it away. Then he began to strangle me. I escaped his grasp. I hit Suzuki on the head with the machete. Split him open. He did? What? What? I don't, I don't see a machete. I... Yeah, what I think is she surprised him. And trying to make it seem like it was self-defense. Yeah. Uh, I think she's in shock. She seems disoriented. Did we look at him? The fallen man. So that's Minoru Suzuki? It's too dark to see very well. But his face looks badly injured. Did that the Kuze do that too? Yeah, like, look at his... Oh, does he not have a bag over his head? No, he doesn't. He looks hella oh, creepy. Hold on, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta like get up and look. It looks, he looks weird. Yeah, no, sorry. I, 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 like, literally got, like, super close to my TV to get, like, a better look. Like, his, his mouth is so wide. It's a very disturbing look on his face. And, like, his teeth look all jacked up. Mm -hmm. There... <sighs> what do we do? I don't know. Like, there's something off. We have to ask her. What, what, what happened? Are you sure that's Minoru Suzuki? Yes. It's really him, and I... I killed him. That's not... No. I think Makoto actually is the killer, and she's just trying to cover for him. I think that's exactly what it is. She seems confident that the man on the floor is Minoru, and his sketch must be what led him here, but... How can she be so sure? She... She's only seen a rough police sketch of what he might look like now. So again, is that really Minoru Suzuki? No. What are we... <gasps> Do we think? I, I'm trying to talk to her again. She's not listening. I killed him. Minoru Suzuki. I guess we try thinking. Okay, I got things figured out. Detective Kuse entered the abandoned house alone, 
and was attacked by Minoru Suzuki, who was inside. She opened fire in self-defense, and the sound of that shot led me here. But about that gunshot... You know, yeah, wait a second. I heard two shots. Did Detective Kuze miss both times? She says he she he got a hold of the gun and then tried to strangle her. But why would he try to strangle her if he had a gun? Right, and but she was able to grab a machete and strike him in the head with it. So where's the machete? That's exactly what I was saying. I don't like this. Like, I'm actually getting, like, unnerved. Me too. This is weird. What do we- what do we do? Do we look? Like, the surroundings, maybe? I don't I see- fired, but I missed the fire again, <laughs> and I missed again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. That's what Dylan said, and I was like, oh yeah. I don't see any machete around here. Where could it be? It's probably behind her back! But- She, like, tries to kill us? Oh, God. This is a cell. What? Oh, there's a cell phone lying by our by my feet. Oh, it's my phone. I must have dropped it when I ran in here. We should let the doctor come hard. Know what's happening? I'll call him. Huh? What? 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 What is he looking at? Out of range. Oh. Fuck. Out of range. No signal in the mountains. So how does she call Kamihara? Wait. If I'm out of range, didn't she say? I don't like this. Mm -hmm. What the hell's going on here? <gasps> Whoa! Why didn't you just go? Why did you even come here? Detective Kuze! I'm, I'm sorry. I... You... You're going to have to die. Huh? Wait! Detective Kuze! It was... 18 years ago. Huh? I ran out of the house. And I was sitting by the side of the road, crying. A car pulled up right in front of me. The door opened, and someone stepped out. I looked up at them, and... There was a man standing there. He was wearing a paper bag with a smiling face drawn on it. What?! I was too scared to move. I couldn't speak. The man crouched down and looked me in the eye. He said, Emiko. Huh? He screamed, and I screamed, and I just kept screaming. The man didn't move. I could see his eyes from inside the bag. I look sad. And he grabbed me by the neck. <laughs> That's when my brother came running up the road. He was yelling, trying to save me. He attacked the man, but it wasn't enough. The man started strangling him, keeping him pinned to the ground. going to kill my brother. I was watching my big brother die. I tried to help. I grabbed the man, but he just brushed me off like it was nothing. That's when I managed to pull off the paper bag. He turned and looked right at me. And it was Minoru Suzuki. But his face was... Jesus. Jesus Christ in heaven! That is <laughs> not. That mm, his face is completely peeled off. I, I'm not gonna be able to sleep now. That's not cool. Oh my God. Well, jump scare. 
It looked just like the face on the bag. I was so scared I couldn't breathe. What? Oh my god. So because he saw his face... He had to leave. And that stuck with her. And you know what? That face looks exactly like, like the face on the ground, for sure. So that is him. But what the hell happened to his face? By the time I got a hold of myself, Suki's car was gone. But I couldn't forget the sight of him tossing my unconscious brother in the trunk. What? So... Taking... Oh my oh, god. That is not Minoru. That was Makoto. No. He kidnapped him and he ran away. <gasps> he did some freaking face off bullshit? He was taking Makoto away. I could still remember it so clearly. asking me what happened to my brother. I don't know why. I told them I didn't know anything. But that's what I did. It was all so horrible. The attack. The look on his face. The feeling of being strangled. None of it was as bad as... as... my brother being gone. Because of me. And if my grandparents knew what really happened, my big brother, the purple flowers he gave me. If only I hadn't said those horrible things. He was taken instead of me. I wish it had been me. I still feel that way. That explains why he his smile was so... Jacked up. Uh, so he probably waited until he grew up a little bit so he can grow into his face and that's probably what all the blood was in his apartment the police came to my house and they asked me so many questions about my brother all I would say all I could say was I don't know anything everyone in the village came together to try to find my brother but I knew it was useless he would never, he wouldn't ever be found. The next day, a young man came in. He'd been there the night, and he identified himself as a detective. Suzuki. Oh? When I refused to speak, do you know what he said to me? He said... Miss, I'll find your brother. Are you sure you don't know anything at all about his disappearance? truth he knew that my brother would never come home alive that man D did you really kill him yes I did Minoru Suzuki destroyed our lives he deserved to die
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Makoto. Not Makoto. I killed Suzuki. This gun has his fingerprints on it. If I... If you... If it looks like Suzuki shot you... I can finally live with my brother. I'm sorry. But... Your... Brother? Is she gonna do what I... Am I? Who the hell are you? Uh, wait, look at this. <gasps> Remember, I should have thanked you. <sighs> Brother, you've got to get out of here now. Wait for me at Kofuku Station! What? Hurry! Get out of here! Hurry! What? Go now! Oh, that was the first one. Huh? Ah! like this for almost 20 years without knowing anything about his life until today. I don't want to make him suffer anymore. I want to set him free right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Detective Kuse. Oh, Jesus! What the hell? Stop making Juko cry! Oh, oh God! Stop! No, Makoto! Stop! Please, no! No! Okay, wait. 
Wait. My head hurts. I gotta drink water. Hold on. Okay, all that made sense. Kind of. I have. I, I still have a lot of questions. Yeah, me too. I'll go. Uh. <laughs> Smooth like it was all a dream sequence. <laughs> oh my god! If I swear, if they do that, I'm I'm throw I'm turning this game off immediately. Oh, I just woke up. Click. No. Like. Okay, I don't know. Okay. All right, should we continue? Yeah. Oh, hey Ayumi, how's Makoto doing? Re he seems to be recovering well. Looks like there's no permanent damage. I'm so glad that the Kamihara was a terrible shot. I knew he was shooting to kill, but... Wait, what? What? Kamihara opened fire on Makoto upon her arrival. He said that the Kuze had been acting strange lately. He said she'd been working solo much more than before. She decided to perform a one-woman raid on Minoru Suzuki's hideout without telling anyone else. Which is stupid, first of all. Very. But Seth Kamehara knew about the motorcycle and the, and the school tie. So he paid attention to her movements whenever possible. Kamehara knew that Seth Kuze was headed to the abandoned village alone. But he said he was delayed after being called into the police station. See, he's been engaging in unauthorized and irregular behaviors, too. All to protect Junko. Aww. As for Minoru Suzuki, at the time I was sure that Zepta Kuze was the one who killed him. So she did it? No, she told the truth, but she didn't kill him. It was oh, Makoto. Oh, because he had a machete. Duh, I was, yeah, that, yeah. Okay, I was very confused. <laughs> oh my god! Could we not? Makoto. Junko. Hide somewhere, Makoto! What? Just hide now! That's a me! <laughs> eh? Big Bro got his revenge after all these years. Let's go! What about Aisuke? It looks like... <sighs> Damn it. I mean, but see, that was the thing. This whole entire time, it's like... Why would anybody do anything to him? There was no motive. There's no motive. Son of a so bitch. I, you know what? They probably... Junko probably went over there to make it seem like a smiley man so that gives them an excuse to go find this dude. Yeah. Because it was the same paper bag material as what it was, what, 18 years ago? From the second and third killings, yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks like Ice Case Sasaki committed suicide after all. Seth Kuze was headed back to the station when she saw a kid on a bicycle ride on, uh, onto a side street. She was suspicious, but decided to keep going. But her suspicions got the best of her, and she turned her motorcycle around to follow the bike. She parked and walked down the pumping to the. Duh. She parked and walked down to the pumping station, and that's where she found. Damn it! <gasps> oh. Sorry, I don't, I don't know why it's kind of bothering me. Um, 
Aisuke Sasaki hanging by his neck in a sitting position. He hooked his tie to the bars of the pumping station. He wasn't breathing, so Detective Kuze tried to, res to resuscitate him. It didn't work. Aisuke was dead. Shit. That, that envelope. That was a suicide note, wasn't it? Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Oh my god. She kept it because it's... It's, it's, it's tied, yeah, and like it, it, it just made sure that they, um, it wouldn't tie back to a suicide. So she withheld evidence. <sighs> when she went to take her cell phone out of her bag, did that Takuze remember something she was carrying? Now this is, this is in her old home paper bag the paper bag she'd found while cleaning her grandmother's house before it was torn down it gave her an idea and she acted upon it Detective Kuze took the tie put the paper bag over Aisuke's head and left the scene I think someone is dead. They're at the pumping station near the bus stop behind the school. The next morning, posing as a first witness, she made an anonymous call to the police. The Tetakuzi disguised Aisuke so that he would be linked to the case from 18 years ago. She believed her participation in the investigation could lead to her locating her brother, Makoto. She was hoping the case would draw a lot of coverage and serve as a kind of beacon for Makoto, who she believed was still alive. And it worked. Aisuke's case was noticed by Minoru Suzuki and Makoto. The smiley man showed up just like Detective Kuze hoped. She says she regrets what she did. She keeps saying, what have I done? Didn't Detective Kuze also take Aisuke's suicide note? I think she was keeping it along with the tie. Yeah. It was in the envelope I saw in the box of it in her apartment. Aisuke's suicide note was addressed to Megami. God. It read... To Megami. I've had a lot of fun with you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Bye bye. Damn you, Nintendo. Mr. Fukuyama told Megami and Kohei what the letter said. Kohei was, Ais was Aisuke's best friend. He understood Aisuke better than anyone. When he heard what Aisuke wrote, he said. Sounds like him. After saying that, he broke down in tears. Megami me cried too. She cried until she had no tears left. But she said the note gave her strength. She listened and accepted what it said as bravely as any adult would. It seems she'll forge ahead. Aisuke. It is difficult for adults to remember what it was like to be kids. But I understood how fragile the world felt to them. I will do whatever I can to protect them. Mr. Fukuyama seems to have felt this too. 
He'll be a great teacher. I know it. I feel like such an ass. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but I think that's why the game did it to make you feel like they like he does. Oh my god. God. <laughs> I I can't I can't do this. I can't shit. even finish. I don't wanna finish. I just wanna oh my god. I'm back. <sighs> oh, Mr. Itsugi! I wasn't crying. <laughs> Welcome back. I've heard about your exploits from Kamada. You're both extraordinary detectives now. Can we get badges now? No. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> that was us doing that too. It wasn't even about yeah. you. <laughs> How'd your investigation go? We're dying to hear your stories. Uh, hold on, hold on. I just got back. I'm starving. I swear to God, don't you say Planet Coffee. So, Ayumi, care to join me for lunch? Of course. Wait, wait a minute. Why are you only taking Ayumi? <laughs> Let's go, Ayumi. What? Huh? Yes. Hello? Oh, come on. Why can't I come? I'm about to say, if they were dead, I'm going to be pissed. Yes? Oh, Detective Kamihara. Can you believe this? Everyone's so mean! I got left behind! Oh, are you on the phone with someone? It's Detective Kamihara! <laughs> Watch your step! Focus on where you're walking, you'll get hurt! <laughs> okay. What is happening? I don't know. Is this a fake out? Sometime, sometime later, I received a letter from Detective Kuse. To everyone at the Itsugi Detective Agency. I sincerely apologize for any inconvenience I may have brought to your lives. My actions are unforgivable. I am ashamed of my selfishness, and I intend to atone for my sins. I have resigned my position with the police to focus on supporting my brother as we move forward. Oh. oh. Makoto's memory has returned, but it will be some time before he can walk again. I thought they said he was a terrible shot. He paralyzed him a little? No, I think it may just be just a recovering thing. Oh. Well, that makes sense. Me yeah. <laughs> He wants to be able to live on his own someday. So he spends his time doing hard physical rehabilitation. To stand by and support my brother is my atonement. I mean, there's no, like, criminal charge. Oh. No. There's no, like, criminal charges or anything against her for what she did? There probably will be. Well, I mean, it probably was either, it was like, resign or... Because she didn't kill anybody. She didn't, but, like, she... Screwed up a whole, like, like ev evidence and, like, changed up the crime scene and... Yeah. Well, I mean, I want to say it wasn't a crime necessarily, but, well, I mean, yeah. she did try to do what she could, but she just withheld certain evidence to, to lead prove to some that it was. Yeah. yeah. I will keep living with that thought in my heart. Our family of three wishes you all the best in your endeavors. Oh, Yoshi. That's right. Oh. Junko. What? Kamihara? <gasps> what? Wait. What? Did they get married? Huh? Wh what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did they Wait. get together? What? Where did that come from? <laughs> Because he loves her. Oh, this is all voice in my head. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all 
three? Okay, that okay. The the the, the, la, the very last part. I'm, that's a little. Well, well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold so are, wait, are they? Did they get married, or is he secretly another brother? <laughs> I don't know. Like I feel stupid not knowing that. No, I think they got married. I think that's adorable. But but why is he not close to her? He... Well, because it's her brother. Okay. Hold, Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I still have questions, though. I don't know how I feel. Like, <laughs> hold on. I don't know. Something's wrong. Uh, the whole the whole thing from 18 years ago is still confusing the living hell out of me. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm I'm at, that's I'm actually getting a little like iffy about that. Like, so if I what I'm understanding, if I'm reading or understanding this correctly, is that. They know, like, it's confirmed Suzuki was the smiling man. Right. And which would mean, like, yeah, he, he'd be, like, in his mid-twenties, whatever, around that time when he was doing that. What I don't understand is, like, they, they kept saying, like, he seemed close with the, the very first victim. Right. But we never got closure We that. never, ever, that was never touched upon. And, like, that, that bothers me. Yeah. And now, outside of that, him saying, like, oh, that he had a sister. What the hell is that? Emiko. Yeah, so we don't know what that is. And the whole thing about Emiko. Like. Who's Emiko? Are, are we actually done? Like, or is, is, I feel like, I don't know. So. And uh, I get so so wait, wait okay wait so hmm. so they got married they're okay okay cool they're married okay. um so if he kidnapped his her brother he just kept him alive the whole time for why no no reason and so for she just happened to find him I mean not happened to but she she you know she she found him but like. Was he going by a different name? Was he? Why? I'm. I'm like. If it. Why he kept him alive using his name? What, what was the purpose? I. I'm actually. I'm a little befuddled. I. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to feel. Like, I'm happy we solved it, but... This isn't... We don't even know what, how, why his face was like that. Well, well, see, that's the thing, too. Why was his face like... What, did he literally peel off his... Cut off his own face? Why? I, we, we can think, oh, it's because of the shears. But why'd he do that? What what was his relationship with Ayu, uh, uh, Ayaka, whatever her name was? Did he actually kill her father too? Or I I don't want to chalk it up to say like, okay, yeah, he was just re he was mentally disturbed. Like that doesn't seem. That's so okay. So and it end up in the 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 Todoroki's that was actually Makoto. Right? It had to have been Makoto. Uh, but we showed him the sketch. Right. So, but yeah, because if his face was like that for eight, you know, during... I, no, hold, I, so... I have questions. I need to I need to go to a, a MEO the Smiley Man explained on YouTube after this. Right, or am I gonna go on Wikipedia here? Like, 
Why was he killing people? Like I, maybe sometimes it just he just mad at the world. Oh. Okay. Is somebody gonna answer that? Hello. Hi. So just trust me, bro. <laughs> Hi. It's me. I'm sorry to bother you at this hour. About this case, there's still many mysteries that remain unanswered. Yeah. I believe uncovering each of these details will allow us to truly solve the case. Part of that requires looking directly at the life of Mor uh, Mor Minoru Suzuki. However, it's pretty gruesome stuff. Heavy. Dark. You have to be prepared for that. So I'm only going to talk when you're ready. When you decide you're prepared, will you give me a call? I'll be waiting. Okay. Save the data from when you cleared the game? Yeah. I don't know if I want to overwrite my final chapter. I'm going to I'm going to put No, in... just do it a different one. I've been doing it every every flip, every oh. file. Oh, I haven't. But I'm I'm I'll put this on file too. <laughs> Eggplant. Um, oh, we got a little, a little, a little badge. Got a little badge there. Menor. What? Emio the Smiley Man. Min. Is that the next game? Wait. Are well, we? Are hold we, on. Are are, we, we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. <laughs> what? You gotta be shitting me. We're <laughs> like, sorry. We're not done. We're not done. <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. What the hell? Time for the Utsugi path. You know what? That makes sense. Because we barely... Wait, what, what's the bottom here? Is it call Utsugi settings to the smiling man? Yeah. So is this the real game? My ass hurts. I I don't. <laughs> I've been sitting I here. We were s okay. All right, game. You got me. I was about to be so frustrated with this game. Oh, like and then it's like J.K. It's the prologue. What do you mean it's the prologue? No, that that can't be right. Like, it, is it? I don't think it's a prologue, but it's part two. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold like uh, man, I'm trying to put my damn thoughts together. So settings are settings. I mean like nothing changes there. I, to the smiley man, is that gonna switch it back around if I wanna replay the game again? Probably. Also, um Mayor said please insert disc two. That's exactly what this is. Um, RJ said... Uh... Mitsuki <laughs> does not lie, though. It gets really dark. Damn. Well, I assume so. <laughs> Smooth. We got a whole ass game to play! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was about to say, I'm like, you know... For what we experienced in the other games, where like they actually like really night like nicely wrapped up everything, like mm -hmm. I was actually gonna get very upset that like there's still so many things that we did not ever touch upon. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so we're gonna get Minoru's backstory about why he is the way he is and what happened 
So we're going to find out who Emiko is. We're going to find out why his face was cut up or off. Face off. And also why he didn't why he didn't kill Makoto. Just took him with him. Yeah, like Wow. Okay. Um I have a headache and and I can't do this. Yeah, I, I mean as, as much as I'm so curious, I I am so mentally drained. Like I I was like straight up crying with everything here. I'm Same. upset and I'm I'm kind of curious. Like I want to ask, but I also don't want an answer. But how long is this going to take? Yeah. There's another game coming out that I want to play that's a lot happier than this game. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> is it coming out on Tuesday? Yeah, it's on Tuesday. I'm going to stream it late because I have to work that day. I might play it first then. <laughs> Damn it. Well, I'm not gonna, I don't know. I, I kind of want to stream it. Part of me is like, I don't know yet. Because, you, you know, like every every year, or excuse me, every month they release new games for the PlayStation service. One of the classic games coming out is Mr. Mosquito. What the hell is Mr. Mosquito? So it was, it's a very, very niche game. It was $20 brand new. And I remember what like... Was this? What was that? <laughs> I'm looking at a video. What the hell is this? If you play as a mosquito, you gotta suck the blood of this Japanese family. Pharaoh! Wait, hold on. Why is safe search on when I'm looking at this? Wait, why? What, what do you hell? mean? Why? There what? is? Hold What's on, that? hold on, hold on. The, the, the reason oh, why... Hold on. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, like... Fine. So, the... I saw, like, one of the... Like, I think the official PlayStation magazine's long ago this is like literally i think oh one oh two maybe and it just always seemed funny to me it seemed kind of intriguing and like i could never ever for the life of me find a copy of this game to buy to rent nothing Yo, what is he talking about? and it, it was that game and they made another one called mad maestro which is actually a a rhythm game and it was actually pretty unique to that because if you remember, or if you guys know, the PS2 had um, pressure-sensitive buttons. So, it, depending on how hard you pushed X or, you know, circle, triangle, whatever, it actually did different things for certain games. And once again, that was another game I could not find anywhere. So... But I always thought the premise of Mr. Mosquito to be kind of funny. Like, oh, you're going around and you're just trying the, the different levels or different homes or d different rooms in the homes trying to get blood from the family. Mm. It's releasing next week as well <laughs> on the 17th to play. And I'm curious about covering it. But, um, yeah, by the same time, yeah, Plucky Squire is coming out too. And that that seems like it might be fun. Um. Well. Yeah. Sorry, I got a, a little rant there, but like. No, it's fine. So, I was just. <laughs> what are we doing about this, though? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Does anyone know how long this game is? I mean, there's no. Me that. Yeah, there's no way we're doing this tonight. Absolutely no way. Um. No, I need to go to bed. It's ten thirty. Yeah. I bought the I bought this game, but I'm too invested in watching y'all. Let's play the, the the cafe about getting spoiled. No, dude, no, please, you gotta play for your yeah, you, damn it, we please. we spoiled a lot for you already, but oh, like you still gotta play it though. I, I still I still think you should you know oh, experience okay. it. Mayor said you could finish it in another session easily, like another four hour session or three hour session, like R right. I mean, how many hours is it? Oh no, yeah, well, well, I know for a fact we'll definitely finish it in the next session. Because I highly doubt they're going to make you play a whole ass game, you know, yeah. after what we just did. I think we're more so curious is like, is it going to be like, like a chapter long, two chapters long? Um, I, 
I, I'm not gonna. I. I'm a little worried. I need. I need to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, th that that is gonna be it for us today. Um, my God, I didn't I didn't think it was gonna take this long, and I, we we weren't expecting this. Um. Uh, I'm not sure what to say. Uh, thank you for thank you for sticking with us. Yeah, it's been a hell of a journey. We're not done yet, obviously. So, um, stay tuned for <laughs> the true ending, I guess. Yes. I, I can't even tell you guys when we're gonna do this yet. Um, we'll talk about it, but uh, just keep an eye out for Twitch and our discords. Yeah. So. Follow us on our socials. Y yeah. Uh, I, I gotta go lie down. I, so. Yeah, my brain is... <sighs> Thank you for being here, everybody. Uh, appreciate you, and uh, we will see you next time. I'll be back tomorrow with streams, I think. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm streaming. What did I say I'm streaming? Pokemon? Did you? Oh, I don't know. We're playing a variety of games. Okay. Yeah, so All right. we'll we'll come back soon to this guys. We'll figure it out. We'll let you guys know. But as usual, thank you all so much for essentially watching I I guess the whole not the whole game, but almost all of it. Um Jesus Christ. Mayor <laughs> Mayor Tha Uix, I do a pro I apologize, I messed it up completely, but thank you so much for the follow. But, uh, yeah, guys, as usual, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you all next time when we finish this or we play Minaru and um, take things from there. Love you yeah. all so much, and uh, yeah. don't forget to spread that love around and try getting some rest after all the, the creepiness that we saw here today. I'll watch a comedy or My Little Pony or something. I'm yeah. gonna go pray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I might actually eat a hot pocket because I'm still kind of hungry. <laughs> I just want some ice cream. Yeah, I don't have any. Oh okay. my god. I love you guys. I'll talk to you love, later. Love. Bye. Bye.